Well, dang. Man, how come the Pope has to come out now and say this? There's no hell? I mean, how many of us Catholics were literally terrified as children? We were going to hell. We were going to hell. We were going to hell. The few times that I went to church, and there was no church talk or no spiritual talk or no talk about anything in my family, but it was just that the few times that I went to church, and yeah, I had to go to catechism to make my first Holy Communion, but I was convinced. I'm not kidding you. I was convinced until like my mid-twenties that I was going to hell. Why? Well, I have no recollection, no recollection whatsoever of going into that dark booth and confessing my sins before receiving the Holy Communion. <gasps> and my first Holy Communion, when you receive it in second grade, and I received it in fifth grade, and I was the tallest, so I stood in the back, and my brother said, my God, it looked like just one giant white L walking down the middle aisle of that church. There I was, the that long part of the L. Um, I do not remember going to confession. Now, I must have. I was a kid. I'm sure I was thrown in there by some, yeah, those habits. That black gown, little white rim, that penguin thing on their head. Oh, my God, and those nuns. God, they looked so large. And, boy, were they mean. Woo! I had to show up for catechism every Wednesday before taking my first Holy Communion. And the only memories that I have, one nun smashing this kid's knuckles. And he had to put his hand in a fist so that those knuckles could be really smashed with a really thick ruler. And my other memory is the windows in the classroom. They were really, really high, and there was a really long pole with a hook on the end, and the nun walking down and sticking that pole into that little hole in the window, opening it. Our church services were in Latin. <laughs> no one understood what was being said, but everybody faithfully went. We weren't faithful. Nothing was faithful. We, I went a couple of times, and then we stopped. That was it. So, Catholic Church, hmm, all of those recovering Catholics. In AA, you would hear them, you would hear, Hi, I am so-and-so, I'm an alcoholic and a recovering Catholic. Well, who could possibly think that traumatizing children is what Jesus wanted? Okay, well, apparently there is no hell. So, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? This was mentioned in an interview. Yes, the denial of the 2,000-year-old teaching of the Catholic Church about the reality of hell and the eternal existence of the soul. Okay, what was that interview titled in this weblog, Rota, Rota, Roate Cali, I don't know. Don't even try, Carol. All right. It was uh, published March 28, 2018, and it was entitled The Pope. It is an honor to be called revolutionary. <laughs> what are you Catholics going to do with this? You're just going to believe this guy? Well, you've been believing him and others that, you know, got that Pope uh, position. So now there's no hell. And for all of you who have said, oh, those evil people, well, they'll get their due. Don't worry. Well, I never believed that. But um, what are you going to do? Doesn't this upend Christianity? Like, whoop, turn it on its head. This is, this is what was, this is an excerpt of the interview. Your Holiness. Can you, I, I couldn't even get those words out of my mouth to call anybody Your Holiness, especially this Pope, this Jesuit Pope. All right, 
In our previous meeting, you told me that our species will disappear in a certain moment and that God, still out of his creative force, will create new species. You have never spoken to me about the souls who die in sin and will go to hell to suffer it for eternity. You have, however, spoken to me of good souls admitted to the contemplation of God. But what about bad souls? Where are they punished? Pope Francis says they are not punished. Those who repent obtain the forgiveness of God and enter the rank of souls who contemplate him. But those who do not repent and cannot therefore be forgiven disappear. Voila. Bye, soul. There is no hell. There is the disappearance of sinful souls. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, well, yes, the Catechism of the Catholic Church states the teaching of the Church affirms the existence of hell and its eternity immediately after death. The souls of those who die in a state of mortal sin descend into hell where they suffer the punishments of hell, eternal fire, eternal fire. You suffer eternal fire. The chief punishment of hell is eternal separation from God in whom alone man can possess the life and happiness for which he was created, for which he longs. It sounds like Pope, Mr. Pope, you've kind of taken on that new age stuff and have decided for yourself what works for you because you are one hell of an evil sinner so maybe you have decided there's no hell because you don't want to go to hell I wouldn't think anybody would want to go to hell but I'm sorry guys I'm sorry um, There's an awful lot in religion in those sacred books written by man that is really not true. Not true. So for all of those sinners and for all of those evil people who continue to commit their sins commin commit such horrible evil that leave so much suffering. I think it was up to us to give them their due, to not wait for God, you know, when they die and then God determines who's going to heaven and who's going to hell. I think it was up to us. I think we got it really wrong.